Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. We are on day 1,834 of our trek, and it is time to explore another nugget of wisdom, which includes an inspirational quote, along with some wise words from Gramps for today's trek. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. This is Gramps. Thanks for coming along on today's trek as we increase wisdom and create a living legacy. We are told in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16, How much better to get wisdom than gold, and sound judgment than silver. If you apply the words that you hear today, over time, it will help you to become more healthy, wealthy, and wise as you continue on your daily trek of life. So let's jump right in with today's nugget. And today's quote is from Warren Wiersbe, and it is, A realist is an idealist who has gone through the fire and been purified. A skeptic is an idealist who has gone through the fire and has been burned. So today's nugget of wisdom is, Realist or Skeptic? I have to admit, I am very much an optimist, and within my personality style, I tend to reframe every situation that appear in the best light possible. I do tend to be idealistic at times. That being said, I have lived enough of life over the last 65 years to understand that I must live as a pragmatic realist. Sometimes life is not fair, and everyone goes through trials and tribulations. I have gone through my share of life difficulties, but I have allowed those fires to help me to mature and purify me as best as possible. I have not let that fire stifle me or my pursuit in living a rich and satisfying life. Other people are also idealists, as I have been at times, but have been discouraged when going through the fires of life because they feel that they have been burnt. Because of this mindset, they become very skeptical of living life. The fires may be similar in both situations, but our worldview and perspective will determine whether we become a realist or a skeptic. It is a choice. What is your choice? As Christians, we are to live a life of abundance, knowing that God has an eternal plan for us and the trials are to mature and purify us. We are told in John chapter 10, verse 10, A thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. And as you ponder this nugget of wisdom for yourself, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,833 treks or read the wisdom journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And if you'd also like to receive our weekly newsletter called Wisdom Notes, please email me at guthrie at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly... I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for more Daily Wisdom.